Hello everybody, I'm happy to connect to you today and today we're going to talk about relationships. Relationships are helping us to grow. We are all connecting with each other, we are all sharing light, we are all supporting each other to transform and experience our path and our relationships with other people are very important to us. We cannot exist in isolation. This is not how we were created to be. So we have to love ourselves and love others in order, in, in order to grow. So relationships are very important to all of us. But many of us have obstacles being happy with others, communicating with others. And I want to share with you what I've learned having relationships with my partner, Robert Jan, and other people, family members. And I will tell you about the wisdom that was said to me by thought and how I was supported to have loving relationships with the people who are close to me. But before we start, I want you, all of you who are listening right now, to find a, a quiet place where you are and just leave the mind, focus on the being, and experience some peace. Empty your mind from thoughts. Take some deep breaths. And dive into your being, away from the mind, away from your patterns, away from your limitations, away from the fear of survival, and experience the expansion and growth of your being that is happening constantly and is supporting life in you. So in this beautiful state of expansion, I want to share with you my truth about connecting to other people. Most human beings exist in the mind and everything for them is, is divided. So our relationships, we divide them into different categories. Our family, connections, our friends, our partners, our colleagues. And we have different expectations needs, wants, demands from all these people. And these needs and demands shape our relationship. These experiences that we have with, with people around us, these patterns that we develop, they do not come from our mind, but it is a form of conditioning. We see it around us. We copy it. And we maintain it through our lives. But we don't really understand that these patterns that we copy and maintain are blocks to our connection with other beings. And what I have learned connecting to people is that you connect to everybody the same way. You share with all people light. You're focusing on 
transmitting, giving, creating with them. And this takes away the need to get something from them. And this is taking you to the ego, having a relationship in order to get something, to be satisfied. So your needs have to be satisfied being with somebody. And what are these needs? Do they really help you to grow? Do they truly make you happy? So people can be in a relationship and at the same time they're so separated from themselves, from their path, from their partner, from their path. There are divisions everywhere, there are blocks everywhere. This is why human beings are not able to connect fully. They're not able to connect to themselves. They do not know themselves. And when you don't connect to who you are, then you cannot love, you cannot share love, you cannot share light. So the first step is to have a relationship with yourself, to go deep into who you are, to experience your physical body, to experience your energy, to be in this state of peace, to see your ability to expand, to connect to other beings. How are you going to connect to them? What tools do you have to help you connect to others? Is it only the mind, the thought? Is it the, is it the physical body? Or perhaps there are more ways to connect. The energetic connection is very powerful. You connect to people that you've never met. You bring them close to you. You meet them the next day. You share light with them. You create relationships that they may last a very short time. Time is not important. So you may meet somebody tomorrow and you may spend an hour with this person sharing light, connecting, growing together, being in the present moment experiencing joy and sharing this joy and this powerful connection it did not last a lifetime but it was powerful enough to inspire you to take a next step in your life to open you up to up to open a door for you so relationships are happening to support us on our path and we are supporting others. We all experience this beautiful flow that connects us and is helping us to clear the fog and to experience again clarity. So you can have connections like this with all people Again, you don't have to think of divisions, men, women, young, old, or having people that have specific characteristics. Don't use any divisions. Divisions are taking you away from your true gifts. They are polarities. They're taking you away from your gift to give and receive. So you are able to connect to all beings and you're able to give to them the beauty and greatness of who you are. 
And this is the focus when you are connecting to people. And as I mentioned before, you can share light with family members, friends, partners, people that you're going to meet and that you never see them again. Or people that you never met. You connect to them energetically. You share your love and light with humanity. And you experience joy doing that. If you're able to experience joy connecting to humanity, sharing your light, then you're going to experience joy connecting to any other person that you meet. Because you're already a powerful receiver and transmitter of light. And this is what is helping us to connect in a powerful way with others. Usually in the mind, we are accepting conditioning and social criteria as our guide when it comes to relationships. There is the, the ideal that has been created by beliefs, expectations, our environment, our family, our friends, what they believe. And this is how these divisions are being maintained, this separation. The mind wants a relationship to be a transaction. We take and we give. We satisfy our needs and we satisfy other people's needs. But being a cosmic being, you have to remove all these limitations. You see yourself as rain. Rain falls on the ground and nourishes all beings. Rain doesn't distinguish, doesn't separate. It's just falling down and whoever is present is going to receive. And the same thing happens with us and our relationships. We are sharing light. The love that we have for ourselves is shared. The light that we are is transmitted to living beings and we all grow together. And some people may ask, this sounds great, but there's also the, the everyday experience. When other people have expectations, how can I be the one that brings the cosmic wisdom into the experience. They cannot see it. They cannot understand it. They will isolate me because they cannot understand. They are not open to receive this wisdom. So how can I connect to people that have expectations and I don't have expectations? It is like speaking a different language. It's like being in, a, in different locations.
how can I be a cosmic being and connect to other people who are in the mind that have their own expectations and beliefs and they're not able to connect to their being and to their truth. What people experience is not your path and is not your truth. You ground yourself into your truth and bring light to them. If they are open, if they are able to see you, they will see you. And if they can't, that's also fine. Other people should not define your experience. You are grounded into your path. And this brings joy. Truth brings joy. Self-love brings joy. And this joy is shared and it is an opportunity for others to experience it. And if they can't, that's fine. So human beings have to learn to focus on their own path, to express the light without being fearful, to love themselves and others unconditionally. and to be fully open and transparent. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to worry about. It is also interesting that the people who exist in the mind they open themselves to connect to others occasionally and conditionally. But people who are connecting to their truth, they love themselves and they're transparent these people, they're connecting to others constantly. They don't have any fear. They don't think when they connect. The connection is... It's just effortless. So this is what we have to experience and learn as human beings. Our mind has created so many limitations. We are afraid to, to be our truth, to be our path, to be our light. And we define ourselves according to the con conditioning that we have experienced. So this is something that we need to remove. Remove all forms of limitations. Experience who you really are. Love yourself. And then share this love with others. Do not expect others to, to fix you. To, to bring you what you need. Do not expect that people will bring what you need and because of them you are going to be happy. You are going to know yourself. If you don't love yourself and you don't know your path and your truth, and you're going into a relationship with somebody, it is like you're wearing a blindfold and you're very close to, to the end of a cliff. You don't know where you're going and what you're creating. 
You're going to be demanding and needy. You're going to have expectations that they're not going to be met. Something very important is that when you are in a connection with somebody, you are both in peace. Friction, frustration, people pulling each other, forcing each other to accept other people's patterns are not are not going to be a joyful experience. If you are not able to experience peace with the people that you are connecting to, the connection is not there. There are many obstacles. And perhaps you have to observe these obstacles. They may be in your mind, they may be in somebody else's mind. Relationships that do not have a specific form, you cannot force them to have a specific form. You are nourishing them and you let them grow. So you may connect with somebody for a very short time or for a long time. You may have a wonderful experience. You may connect to somebody energetically, physically, in lots of different ways. You may open yourself and share light with somebody who is not connecting to you at this moment. There are all different types of relationships and you cannot force anything. You can only nourish, nourish this, uh, these relationships to grow. And whatever the result of, of what you said, whatever you were able to, to create, it is all positive. Even with the people that they were not able to connect to you, you are happy that you had the opportunity to share you are happy that you have shared your light. You remained open, you shared your truth. You are fulfilling your purpose, you are walking your path. And other people's reaction did not trigger you to go into a state of fear. You remained on your path. If you have any questions or comments about relationships, I know that many people are struggling to, to express themselves. They're afraid to, to be seen, to communicate, to share the truth. They're worrying about other people's reaction.
So if you have any anything to share about your own relationships, or if you have any questions about relationships and how to connect to others, you can post them now and I will try to answer. Something that I have learned in my own relationships is that when you share the love that you have for yourself, people are opening up. People are connecting to the love that you have for yourself. It's a very powerful way to connect. And you see them growing, transforming, releasing. Just by being in a pure state and sharing the love that you have for yourself, this love that is, is part of Earth's love for her creation. We all have it. It comes into us. It's helping us to connect with each other, to experience collective growth and unity. So when you are in this pure state and connect to others without any expectation that you are happy to look at people, to share your, uh, your light, to connect to people energetically, to enter their being in order to offer healing to them. And also something that I have experienced is that I want to give. When I connect to others, my intention is to share with them my light and support them on their path. To listen to them. To surround them with, with energy that is healing for them. This is my intention. And even if people are negative, they experience some, some distortion in their being, they're confused. Whatever people are doing is not blocking me. I'm still giving them. I'm supporting them. And this is extremely powerful and I wish you all to do that. Not to be afraid to give. And there's so many ways to give. And we can start from the people in our environment. But you can also share our light with humanity. There are so many connections, there are countless of connections. And part of our path is to to experience as many connections as we can. We are sharing our light and our and the cosmic light. We are sharing Earth's energies, we are nourishing each other. These connections are so important. We are helping Earth to grow this way and we are growing with Earth. Derek has a question. What's your guidance when one person in a relationship wants to grow and evolve and the other is content with a life is about wealth and possessions? How do we bridge the gap between the two? So we are going to meet many people out there that have their own criteria. 
So they are not connecting to their being, they are not connecting to their, to their light, they are not connecting to their truth, they are not connecting to their path. But they are following the social criteria, what is important. And for many people, important, what is important is money, wealth, position, status, profession. And we connect to these people every day, we share our light with them. We love them because we know that even though they are affected by this distortion, they are light beings like we are. There is light in them, they have a divine plan, they have a path, a purpose. And we will never stop loving them. We will never stop sharing our, our light with them. But perhaps our paths are different. And their paths, probably their series of diversions. And we want to focus on our true path, so our lives will be different. We cannot coexist, but we can share light with each other. So if there is a couple where they experience something like this, they should not come together. They cannot have a, a common path. And most of the time, people like this, when they come together, they trigger each other. And they both exist in some distorted space. They are affecting, they're both affecting each other. They're trying to come together, they try to communicate, they try to share the truth. And they're so far away. So you can love all beings, wherever they are, whatever they are experiencing. But to be able to live with people, you need to be able to fully communicate with them and they should be able to fully understand your path, to fully accept who you are and you have to be truthful to them. So sometimes people are not truthful to each other and this is what creates also problems in relationships. People wear masks. They present themselves as the ideal partner instead of just being themselves, just sharing, expressing their truth. But then they need to know the truth to be able to express it. So people in a, in a confused state, they do not know the truth, they wear the mask that that fits the ideal partner and when they come together with, with somebody, at some, at some point the mask is going to drop. And then the people will realize that they are very far. They can be in the same house, in the same room, but in reality they are very far away from, from each other. And they never knew who they are. They're sitting with somebody who they don't know. And this can be traumatic for some people to realize that the partner is somebody that is very different from what they thought.
Does anybody have any more questions? Thank you, Derek, for your question. It is very important for us to communicate, to share our light. And this is an opportunity for me to, to communicate to you this way, through these videos. There are so many wonderful ways to connect. And I'm happy that I'm here and I treasure these communications that we have, these conversations, the, the moments of sharing light with each other. So I hope that our con connection today that has helped you to observe your relationships and has helped you see who you really are and what do you express when you are with others are you truly transparent are you sharing your truth do you love yourself and share this love that you have for yourself with others are you fully open to receive and transmit? Do you follow patterns when it comes to relationships? Do you have criteria in your mind that will guide you to the right person, to the right relationship? Do you divide your friends and people that you know in different categories? Or are you just a rain of love for all of them to receive. Do not limit yourselves. There is so much beauty and greatness in every single being. And I want this moment that we are connecting to start loving ourselves. You cannot ignore who you are and trying to have a relationship with somebody and expecting them to please you and make you happy and, and have this fulfillment. You are coming fulfilled in a relationship. You love yourself, you have clarity of who you are and you are ready to love others. This is the step that we all should take in order to experience happiness and joy in our lives and see other people as beautiful beings that we want to connect to them with our light and share the truth that we are. People around us are not obstacles they are opportunities, opportunities for us to share our light and grow with them. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I will connect to you soon again. Looking forward to. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.